What's up guys? So today I'm going to get into uh, Ty Lopez's social media marketing agency course or the SMMA course. Uh, I'm going to give you my thoughts on it um, and what I thought was left out um, and why I feel they left you hanging. So let's go. Uh, so number one, I actually don't have anything against Ty Lopez. I think what he's doing is great. He's made uh, great strides. I mean, he's, he's doing big things. But um, He's promoted his SMMA course like crazy. Um, a ton of people are familiar with it. A ton of people have taken it. Um, and in my opinion, I feel like the course, like I said, leaves out a ton of stuff. Um, so number one, I feel like the course gives you all this information and it gives you this wide, vast sort of dossier almost of just like a ton of stuff. But it doesn't lay it out in a, in a clear cut, step by step formula on how to start getting clients, what to do when you get them, how to actually get results for them, and how to keep them, which is huge. Because uh, you can get a client for a month or two, but you know who wants that? You want to keep a client for six months, a year, two years, however long you can keep them for. Um, don't mind the sirens, I live across the street from my hospital. Um, anyways, so like I said, they give you all this info, but they don't give you a system to actually put that information into action. Uh, so the first, uh, uh, sort of step that you have to learn is how to actually get clients because they teach you how to do the social media stuff and how to actually get results and all this great stuff which you need but none of that means anything if you can't get a client so they don't teach you how to talk to a business owner and the little things and little things tricks tips and tricks that make uh, business owners tick what makes them uh, shut you down um, which is a lot of psychology a lot of little things that go into how to talk to people um, the kinds of things that people want to hear and this doesn't mean that you have to lie to business owners It's just there are certain things that business owners care about and certain things that they don't uh, For example, if you go to a business owner and say hey, I can get you 10,000 uh, Instagram followers the most likely response that that uh, you'll get is okay, and how does that help me like? How does that help my bottom line? Where do I see that on my P&L sheet my profit and loss sheet and you're gonna just be stuck and be like Oh well, you know, Instagram is huge and da da da. You're just gonna go on a rant and boom, that's it. You lost them. But if you go to a business owner and say, you know, hey, I, I just was wondering if, if I can show you what I do to help businesses increase their revenue, or help you get more clients, or help you more, get more customers. Now it's a di it's a little different. Now they may be listening. Uh, not all the time, because business owners are business owners, and sometimes they just don't want to hear whatever it is you have to offer. But you can increase your chances of getting heard if you talk to them in the right way and actually tell them what they want to hear. And the only thing they care about is getting customers and making more money at the end of the day. So if you tell them that, that changes things a little bit. So that's the first part is they don't really show you the ins and outs of talking to business owners and uh, how to actually get meetings and cold calling and stuff like that. Uh, I know, you know, in the course they say cold calling is dead and don't do it and all this other stuff, but the reality is cold calling is not dead, it's alive, as you can see in my other videos where I cold call business owners and I close deals over the phone, so cold calling is not dead, don't get it uh, mistaken. Um, number two, uh, like I said, they give you all this information, how to do Facebook ads, how to do grow an Instagram, how to grow a Facebook following, but they just don't show you, number one, get a client, okay, number two, uh, what do you do to keep them happy? How do you kind of retain them? Um, and that comes into play with doing Facebook ads and stuff like that. But the reality is, honestly, you could, you could go through an entire course on sales and what it takes to actually close clients because that, it, like I said, in and of itself is a whole science. Like, and to me personally, I feel like if, that, that was the big thing that they left out. They left out some other stuff like, how to retain a client, how to actually take a payment, how to set up recurring payments and stuff like that. Like the, I mean, little things, but they still matter. But the big thing was teaching how to get a client. And what I didn't like personally, um, and me myself, I've worked in sales for, been working in sales for the past nine months. So I know that cold calling is not dead. And it's, again, I don't. It's not like I have anything against these guys, but Joe Soto was the one who said. Uh, cold calling is dead. I love Joe Soto. I like everything he teaches, but I feel like he messed up a little bit on that because cold calling is definitely not dead. And the sorry, the methods that they show you on how to actually get clients are a little eh, iffy. I mean, going to chamber of commerce meetups. I mean, that's okay. Uh, getting having setting up a business alliance is a little a little fluffy. I mean, I don't know. It's it's hard to get 
an alliance of people to trust you, especially when you're starting out, when you don't really have anything, you don't have anything to show, and you don't have any, you don't have a reputation. So, I would say that that's kind of filler stuff, stuff to just fill their course with. Um, let me think. What else do they say in terms of getting clients? Uh, Yelp, reaching out to businesses that are on Yelp. I mean, okay, but how are you gonna reach out to them? You got a cold call. At the end of the day, you got to. The only way to really get in direct contact with these people and these owners is cold calling. Um, and they completely, completely left out the science of cold calling, uh, how to get past what's called a gatekeeper, which is usually like a, it's just the person who answers the phone. So if it's a chiropractor or a dentist, it's the receptionist, uh, just the person who answers the phone. How do you, how do you get past a gatekeeper? Um, and not only how do you get past them, how do you get to the decision maker? And then taking it a step further, what do you actually say to them? Because you could, you could pass step one, which is getting past the gatekeeper, but if you, let's say you get the owner on the phone, what, I mean, what do you say? We're going to start mumbling. And, and the, the reality is this is what most people end up doing. Hi, my name is such and such. I run a social, I'm CEO of such and such agency and I do X, Y, Z for businesses. And I was da, 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 and they already know what, when you say that business owners already know, they hear it all the time. Thousands of times they get these calls. All right. What, and they're thinking, all right, when is this, this fool going to hang up the phone? Cause I'm not interested. So Cold calling is a science in and of itself, and I show you guys in my other videos uh, how to do it and how to do it right. Um, but like I said, that's to me that was the biggest part that they left out is the cold calling and the prospecting. Um, they didn't show you how to prospect on Facebook, how to actually reach out to businesses on Facebook and Instagram, what kinds of businesses you should target, um, how to actually communicate with businesses via messages because there's a science to that too. You could easily say the wrong thing through, via message and boom, you, you lost you lost them, the business owner as a prospect. Um, it's, it's just a lot of stuff that goes into prospecting and getting clients that I feel they left out, cold calling, uh, even setting up meetings through Facebook, which I've done, I'm gonna do a whole video on that. Um, I have a meeting today with a salon that I was able to get through reaching out to them on Facebook. Re I reached out, we set up a time to, to talk and then I was able to set up an appointment. Um, so that kind of that kind of stuff they left out. Um, I just feel like they left a lot of people hanging because I was one of them. Like I get it. Um, I went through the course. I did. I looked through everything, all the stuff they have on email marketing, SEO, uh, all the kind of digital marketing stuff that that they tell you you can do for businesses. I went through it all, and then after the course, I was kind of like, now what? Like, what's my first step? They didn't give me a system in place. Um, so. It, it, it frustrates me a little bit because of how much they promote that course, Ty Lopez and his team, and how much they get it out there, and, and obviously what they're charging for it is a hefty, hefty price tag. Um, so my, you know, my goal, but the reason why I'm doing this uh, and making these YouTube videos and stuff like that um, is because I know that there are a lot of people out there like myself that, like I said, felt kind of little uh, left, left out to dry and left, left hanging after they took the course. Um, so I want to kind of help the people that, um, that feel like that. Cause like I said, I was one of them again. Um, so I'm hoping I can bring a little bit of a different approach to the whole, this whole social media thing. Um, there's a lot of courses out there on it. I feel like, I don't know. They're all just kind of mediocre, at least in my opinion. Um, I haven't really found one that really, really, stands out um, and I'm not telling you this because I'm pitching you any course because I don't have a course I'm what, what you guys are seeing on my YouTube channel is the kinds of stuff the kind of things that people put in courses like I'm giving you sh just straight up raw stuff for free I'm not charging you guys for any of it um, I see again because I want to help people so um, you know I I, uh, I know how you guys feel but again you got to put a lot more focus into getting clients because you could, again you can learn Facebook ads you can learn um, you can be the best Facebook ads uh, uh, person in the world, right? But if you can't get a single client to pay you to manage their Facebook and, and do advertising for them, what, what does all that Facebook ads training matter? It means nothing. Uh, I mean, shit. So you got to learn how to get clients and get them consistently uh, and have a system in place uh, and a process that you have for getting clients, which is what I have and what I'm trying to show you guys. Um, Another thing about the course, um, like I said, they give you all this information on all the different kinds of things you can do for clients, but 
they didn't tell you that uh, in reality it's best to narrow things down because when you go to a business owner and you offer them packages of they're getting all this stuff it, it, it you think that it's increasing the perceived value that that the business owner is getting from you and that you're giving them but in reality it doesn't um, it, it, it doesn't really mean much to them if they're getting posts on Instagram once a day posts on Facebook all this nonsense at least in my opinion again you can reverse engineer the process what do the business owners care about getting customers right if it's a restaurant they want more customers so how would you do it for them would you post on Instagram probably not right probably not because you're not gonna get too many customers come actually going from their house into the restaurant by posting on Instagram what are you gonna do you're probably gonna be running some ads to get them more customers so reverse engineer the whole process tell tell them that we're gonna run ads to bring you more people into the restaurant or the, or sell you more cars at the dealership or whatever it is get you more clients for your real estate business or whatever the case may be reverse engineer the entire process tell them what you're gonna do for them and now it makes sense when you're just throwing them a bunch of stuff they can't see it you gotta get the business owner to see the process and see uh, see it the way you see it because you may see something that they don't see but you gotta you gotta kind of lead them in that right direction um, so those are just some of my thoughts again I have nothing against Ty Lopez nothing against Joe Soto against all the people that are that contribute to the course I just felt like they left a lot of things out um, and when you're paying that that big of a price tag it kind of sucks to be left out so hopefully I can kind of fill fill that void a little bit for people um, to provide you guys with some of the stuff that you do need if you really want it, if you're serious about this social marketing social media marketing thing or even if you want to make if you want to have a medium-sized marketing agency you don't want to go huge and have a ridiculous clientele you still have to know this um, so like I said if you're serious about really doing this guys um, you have to you have to find the right uh, knowledge and the right um, way of doing things and unfortunately at least in my opinion um, you won't find it in the uh, Ty Lopez SMMA course um, that's just the reality that's the way I look at it um, so shift your focus to getting clients this is my would be my suggestion shift your focus into putting a process into place for yourself for getting clients how to what are you gonna we have to have a process for cold calling a process for uh, reaching out to businesses on Facebook and Instagram I thought this video was even somewhat helpful um, just like it comment if you guys have a question um, I try I, I'll I'll be I'll answer the question if you have you guys comment something down uh, in the comment section I'll, I'll help you guys out um, subscribe so that you get an update every time I release something new because my goal is to just keep releasing new stuff um, and again my content is just gonna be what I'm doing to get clients and what I'm doing to help clients get results so it's not a scripted kind of thing you're just gonna be getting straight up what it takes to grow a marketing agency um, from you know from from small to hopefully six figures or however big I can go um, so and also, if you guys have any questions about anything else, um, hit me up on Instagram. Um, I'll leave the link to my Instagram in the description. Uh, that's pretty much it. Just feel free to always message me with any questions. Um, I'm always down to help you guys out. So, cool.